Psyche here, and today we're going to un be unboxing one of my favorite characters. Today we're going to be unboxing Eraserhead, also known as Aizawa Shota from the series My Hero Academia. Um, if you've seen some of my previous video, I actually unboxed a brand band pesto figurine of him, but I've owned the Funko Pop since it released. <laughs> uh, he is one of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia, and if you're current on the manga, he's probably your favorite too. <laughs> but anyway, as per usual, let's give him a bit of a spin. A look at the box here. <laughs> I love that they captured his half awake look <laughs> and all his gruff. <laughs> hmm, let's see. On the back of this box, who do I own? I own Todoroki. I need to get the rest of them. I have a number of my Hero Academia Funko Pops and I'm trying to collect all of them. So, without further ado, let's unbox him. Ooh, messed up the box a bit. Now, with this particular Funko Pop, there was a, uh, I believe there was a Hot Topic exclusive version of him as well um when he's fighting he wears a pair of goggles ah, 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 saved. <laughs> he wears a pair of goggles when he's fighting so if you got the hot topic exclusive it came with his goggles and um to not go into huge detail about my hero academia i totally recommend you reading or, or watching it. it is a really great anime and man manga um when he uses his quirk his hair starts to float up so the Hot Topic exclusive version, actually, you know what? I'll just probably include a little photo right here instead. <laughs> but yeah, this one does come with a stand, which is great. But he's standing up on his own. I'm finding more and more the figurines that come with stands don't actually need stands. And the figurines that don't come with stands need stands. I'm looking at you, Gambit. But let's get a little close up here. I see a few imperfections, a little, little mark here or there, but it looks look like some of the glue from maybe, yeah, they just, they're glue maybe, but yeah, this is, this is a great Funko Pop. I, I kind of find it funny that if you had spoken to me maybe around five years ago, I wouldn't, yeah, I was never into collecting figurines at all. I kind of, especially small, I always thought the figurines were too small to be worth the money. And now today, I have a literal mountain of these guys. And I've been steadily collecting more and more just figurines. And my standards for what figurines I'll collect have been dropping a bit. It used to be that if it was, if it was under nine inches, I didn't want it. And that times have changed. <laughs> so let's tighten our angle here and let's give him a bit of a spin. Yeah. Nothing major, but it's a really cool Funko Pop. And now I own his Funko Pop. And his figurines. I'm quite happy. I'm looking to buy his poster soon as well. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but yes, this has been the Pro Hero, well, Pro Hero Underground Hero, Eraserhead. Also known as Shota Aizawa or Aizawa Shota. Well, guys, that has been this, un has been this unboxing. And until next time.